popped out and surprised me. Over. Anyone I've had? Has anyone had TV? Thank you very much for activating it, and I would like to dedicate it to our colleague Gaston Bertel, who worked so hard to get it in space. So give us a wave, please. Hello, thank you for, um, I'm really excited to get him video going today. Okay, I think the last question was, do I ever play tricks and jokes with each other? We do all the time, and because Halloween's coming up, I'm really looking forward to that. Over. <laughs> It's usually something different, but today I had breakfast, I had a tortilla and some breakfast sausages, and yes, cereal would float away um, if we let it. Over. How, this is Tasha. How does the spacewalk feel? Over. Hi, Sasha. I have not performed the spacewalk myself, but I have supported one, and talking to my friends who have done one, um, they're very, really, really, really hard, but we train a lot on the ground at NASA so that we're well prepared. Over. Hi, this is Penny. Let's be a taste of your face. That's your work. Over. Hi, little quiet, so it's easy to sneak up on each other. So I suspect a lot of creepy sounds will be coming near Halloween. Over. Hello, this is Freddy. Do you play board games on the ISS? Which ones? Over. Yes, we play board games. Actually, we played one last weekend, and it, we were playing Code Names, uh, which is a fun team-based game on trying to think of the other person's word. Over. Hello, this is Lucas. What's the most difficult challenge you faced while living on the space station? Over. The greatest challenge I've had is missing my family. I have two little stuffed animals here, and they belong to my two youngest kids, and I miss them very much. Over. Hello, this is Dylan. Do you have that kind of or have a in space? Hello, um, yes, we do have teddy bears in space. I've got my daughter's little dolphin here and my son's little lion right here in space. Hopefully you can see it. Over. This is Cynthia. How many months can you stay in space for? Over. Well, I think you can stay in space for as long as you wanted to. Uh, my mission is eight months and I've been up here for a little over six months. Over. Hello, this is Mahika. How do you prepare your body and mind to live in space for so long? Over. You know, just like with a lot of hard things, it requires a lot of focus, training, preparation, and a good, good support network. Um, I would say I've had a lot of help along the way with not just my family, but also my friends and the people I'm up here with. Over. Hi, I'm Ethan, and can we drink hot chocolate space? Hi Austin, yes we can. Um, it's one of my favorite things to drink, especially um So we don't have running water in space and shower is one of the first things I want to do when I return to her. But we do clean ourselves and, and the way we do that is we get a, a towel and we wet wet it with some water and we rub it around against our body. It's kind of like a, a scrub that over. Hello, this is Sophia. What training do you have to do to be an astronaut? Over. You know, there's a lot of training, language training, flight training, learning how to use a spacesuit, learning the engineering. But I would say the most important thing to being an astronaut or just successful in life is just having a curiosity to learn. Um, you're never too old to learn something new. And if you remember that, you can do anything that you put your mind to. Over. Anyone on the first, anyone on the first, this is GB4 RSS. Johnny, thank you very much. That was absolutely fantastic, and thank you for all your efforts to get Ham TV operational for us. Everyone here wants to say a big thank you, so... Ready? Three, two, one. GB4 RSS, anyone RSS, that was a very, very loud thank you. I could hear you all the way from the space station. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. And I hope you all have a great day. Signing off from the International Space Station. Goodbye. Thank you very welcome, Eddie.
one that says out. Thank you. 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 Thank you.